Welcome back, everybody. Thousands of family members and supporters of the more than 200 hostages held by Hamas have arrived in Jerusalem today after a five-day march from Tel Aviv to criticize Netanyahu and his government for their handling of the war and ongoing hostage crisis. And during his press conference moments ago, Prime Minister Netanyahu said while there was no deal to secure the release of the hostages, he and all of Israel are marching with those in Jerusalem today. But in the meantime, hundreds of diplomats and analysts from around the world are gathering in Nova Scotia, Canada at the Halifax International Security Forum to discuss this very issue and much more. I want to bring in now NBC's Dan DeLuce on the ground for us at the forum in Halifax, Nova Scotia, to talk more about this. If you will, we know, obviously, there are multiple wars happening overseas right now. You have Ukraine, Russia. You have, obviously, Israel, Hamas as well. We know Israel, Hamas is certainly top of mind for a lot of folks there on the ground. What are you hearing? I think the first concern a lot of people hear is that uh, this is a gift to Russia, to Putin, that the war between Israel and Hamas has diverted attention from Russia's invasion of Ukraine. So you have some Ukrainian representatives here that are worried about that. And they're also pointing out that Iran is a through line here in these conflicts. You have Iranian drones bombing Ukrainian cities. And of course, you have Iran uh, backing uh, Hamas and other proxy groups in the Middle East. But I think what was interesting today, Yasmin, was the former prime minister of Israel, a real outspoken critic of the current prime minister, Ehud Barak, was asked about the toll on civilians, the terrible scenes that are emanating out of Gaza now that we're all watching. And he said that he, you know, obviously regretted any civilian deaths. But even he was saying that Israel had to finish the job, as he said, and that there was no alternative to continuing to press this assault on Hamas and to basically somehow dismantle Hamas as a military force. Uh, but he also said something that Netanyahu obviously would not necessarily agree with him on. And he said that ultimately, the only solution to all of this is the formula that's been spoken of for decades, a two-state solution, uh, some kind of peace settlement that would allow for the establishment of a Palestinian state, something that Ehud Barak tried to negotiate uh, more than 20 years ago, came close and failed. Uh, but a lot of concern here about the war spreading um, and uh, the war possibly backfiring uh, domestically in the U.S., right? So uh, you now have moderate Democrats expressing a lot of concern about how Israel is conducting its war. And uh, I think we should hear from Representative Slotkin, who was on MSNBC earlier today, saying that Israel had to be held to a standard that democracies or held to. Here's what she had to say. A hospital is a very sensitive topic, and if you're going to go after it, it, the onus is on the democracy to prove that there was truly something significant, significant enough that would ever make that a viable target. And the United States went through this ourselves in places like Afghanistan with Kunduz and a hospital raid there. So, uh, it, you know, I think that um, the difference here is you have a, a democracy going against a terrorist group. The democracy have different rules, um, and they need to live up to those rules, just as we needed to live up to those rules in 20 years of war. So that's a moderate Democrat uh, making the case mm. that Israel was under scrutiny here and had to justify and, and disclose why it's uh, done, uh, what it's done around that hospital. Is, are they talking at all about solutions there, Dan? Uh, they're more no. It's more how long is this Israeli offensive going to last? But there is an acknowledgement, at least from a, a relative moderate like Ehud Barak, that there's no escaping a political solution ultimately. That there has to be a Palestinian right. state. Uh, but there's still so many problems and obstacles. Obviously, when we talk about that. Dan Delis for us. Thank you, Dan. Appreciate it.